Hi, my name is uh, Colonel Jim Modlin. I'm an Army officer and currently serving as a military fellow at the U.S. Institute of Peace uh, for this year. I've deployed to Iraq four times. Uh, my first deployment was in 2003 uh, to 2004, and then I came back in 2006 to 2007, uh, again 2008 and 2009, uh, and then my last deployment uh, was in 2015. So it, it definitely evolved uh, from my first deployment uh, to, to really my third. Uh, my first deployment was uh, right after the invasion, the summer of 2003, uh, and I served um, uh, between Ramadi and Fallujah in a small town called Habaniya. Uh, during that time, um, the insurgency was just beginning. Uh, we faced uh, former regime elements initially, uh, and then over the course of the fall of 2003 into the spring of 2004, uh, the insurgency really began. Uh, we started seeing foreign fighters, um, and I was present for uh, the first Battle of Fallujah, um, the first major combat operations in Ramadi, um, and then uh, spent the summer of 2004 uh, in Baghdad conducting combat operations. That deployment was very kinetic. Um, it was very focused on the enemy. Um, we had initial uh, partnerships with uh, the fledgling Iraqi security forces, uh, but um, that it was very uh, enemy focused. When I came back in 2006, uh, deployed to Nineveh province uh, in northwestern Iraq, um, and that was more population based. Um, it was on the heels of uh, significant combat operations in the town of Talfar, uh, west of Mosul. Uh, and during that deployment, uh, I found myself partnered uh, more closely with Iraqi security forces. I was a brand new captain at the time, um, and my job was to build relationships uh, with the Iraqi army and the Iraqi police. Um, during that deployment, uh, I spent a significant amount of time in Sinjar, uh, in Sinjar Mountain uh, with the, the Zeti people, um, and uh, that was at the beginning of the, the surge. Uh, so during that deployment as well is when we saw uh, the beginning of uh, significant sectarian violence. Um, my, my formation uh, was pretty lucky. Uh, we had a great relationship with the sheikhs and the local populace, and we were able to prevent significant uh, sectarian violence in that area. Uh, then when I redeployed, in 2008 and 2009, uh, that was very different. Um, Iraqi security forces were quite capable uh, in our area. I was in Saladin province at that point, and uh, we oversaw the um, uh, provincial elections uh, and the ultimate uh, removal of American forces uh, from the cities uh, in 2009. Uh, when I left in the fall of 2009, uh, I was very confident in the Iraqi security forces. I thought the Iraqi governance uh, was moving in the right direction. Uh, and frankly, I was hopeful. Look, looking back 20 years now, um, I, I regret not having more interaction with Iraqi people during my first uh, deployment. Um, like I mentioned, we were very enemy focused. Um, and uh, though we, we did our best to uh, minimize collateral damage, um, I, I didn't have a lot of interaction uh, on a personal level uh, with, with Iraqis. My second deployment, that completely changed. I was working closely with local leaders. I was working closely with uh, the Iraqi security forces, and I got to know the people, uh, understand the culture, uh, and really start building trust uh, in, in a partnership. Uh, and I think that comes with uh, shared hardship, shared experience, um, facing danger together. Uh, and that uh, really grew um, my, my appreciation of the Iraqi people. I was able to put that into practice during my third deployment as a company commander. Um, at this point, I had um, almost three years uh, deployed to Iraq when I, when I came back from my third tour. And uh, being able to put those tools that I had learned in my previous two deployments together uh, helped my partnership um, and really helped me immediately establish uh, bonds of trust uh, with uh, both the populace uh, and my Iraqi security force partners. The big lesson that I've taken from Iraq is that peace building is hard. Uh, it's hard work and it takes time uh, and it uh, requires 
uh, trust, uh, trust amongst all parties. Um, a example that stands out in my mind um, is uh, taken from my second deployment uh, to northwestern Iraq and Nineveh province, uh, Talfar in particular. Uh, I came on the heels of significant combat operations um, by uh, the 3rd Armored Cavalry Regiment and the Iraqi Security Forces uh, to root out an insurgency uh, inside of the city. Um, when we came in uh, about six months after that, a peace process uh, was just beginning, uh, where the sheikhs, the local leaders uh, from various tribes uh, and ethnicities uh, were coming together to discuss problems uh, and to have a solution that was beneficial for everybody. Uh, that easily could have died uh, if, if it wasn't for some significant efforts of uh, both American military and Iraqi security force officers uh, that took the time to foster conversation uh, and to find uh, where there was commonality uh, as opposed to differences.